That one got the umpire and down goes Manny Gonzalez trying to stay up on his feet. Man, we're seeing this a lot. Man, he really got drilled on that foul ball. And his mates and the Red Sox trainer quickly coming out. He staggered, reaching down to the. Now he's going down on a knee. Goodness. Yeah, you hate to see that. This is definitely going to be a three man crew because he is out of it right now. Home plate umpire Manny Gonzalez got smoked by the foul ball by Luplo. And Laz Diaz, the first base umpire, went quickly down the tunnel heading for the umpire's room that's located on the third base side. So he goes through the Tampa Bay dugout. Whenever you see an umpire staggered like that, it's just not something you shake off in 10 seconds. No, that was a solid blow. Baseball can be such an unforgiving sport. You're trying to do everything you can, stay in the slot, all of that. Last second, the catcher moves over, and suddenly your head's above the catcher's head, which is the danger area, and it's just an unfortunate situation. And Manny, one of those umpires who wears the helmet, tried to stay up. Now he's on his feet, but with some help. And he is going to leave the game. As you said, that was evident instantaneously, really. Gets a nice hand from the Fenway faithful. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to evaluate him thoroughly. And they'll run him through all the concussion protocols. So we are going to have a bit of a delay here as Laz Diaz, first base umpire, goes to put on the home plate gear. And this one will be done by three umpires the rest of the day. One to nothing Tampa Bay with one out. They have two base runners here in the opener of the series. And we'll have more in a moment. Manny Gonzalez, who was just struck wickedly by a foul ball off the bat of Jordan Luplo. And you're absolutely right, Dave. That's been happening a lot with the umpires lately. I've seen it two or three times myself. Yeah, it's the second consecutive homestand where the home plate umpire has been hit like that. And it is always scary because it's it's on the guy in a heartbeat no chance I mean no chance you're sitting duck. Oh no doubt about it I mean they're, they're the best team in the American League and run scored as Diaz gets behind the plate. Let's just figure it out today. Top of the first inning long way to go with three umpires but watch what's going to happen here as Laz gets ready adjusts sets the count we're good to go but watch what happens as soon as we go to the bottom of the first inning. Blue blow one for three off Chris. Here. Yep, this crew now has four umpires. That is John Lipka out at second base, apparently in town a day early because he is reportedly scheduled to work on Tuesday. So this does not happen too often, and that might be what Jeff Nelson was on the headset with MLB about earlier. Wasn't well, this interesting? John Lipka is going to take over as the second base umpire, so they will have four. They had an extra umpire hanging around which is very unusual and just to point out how it is important even though the crew didn't have a chance to pregame work together in these positions etc everyone knows their responsibilities so when a play like this happens inside the park home run you get a perfect rotation second base umpires out third base umpires at second home plate umpires at third first base umpires at the plate we got a question about this rotation in tampa bay from a, like a month ago and yeah but they did it wrong because the first base umpire didn't get to home plate here esther brooks at home while I'm answering umpire questions, maybe it was a good thing that Lipka came in because Laz almost got hurt. I have never seen a game go down to two umpires before, but it could happen if things got that bad. Laz Diaz got hit. Okay, here's a real important question that we got asked as well. Does MLB have standby umpires in place? And the answer is not unless it's the postseason. Lipka is going to take over as the second base umpire. So We've written about this in the past. In 2019, we talked about how when someone in the postseason, it's a six-person crew, gets taken out. The crew goes down to five. They usually vacate the left field line, so the infield always has four. During the 2008 ALCS in Tampa Bay, Daryl Cousins got hurt. And the MLB for the next game called Angel Hernandez in to replace him, so the crew had a full six. 
MLB's regular season stance has more or less been we don't want to pay for a fifth umpire. That's fine, but that means you don't have standbys. To be fair, other sports that play a lot of games like NHL or NBA also don't have five people on the same game. It's four, and if one of them goes down, you go down to a crew of three, just like baseball. The only difference is the other sports have standby officials that are assigned to the postseason, but because of the confines of the court or the ice, how small it is, you can't put the extra official on the ice. So you keep him backstage, and then if someone gets hurt, you bring him on. Not trying to do the same Lewis in the spot shadow as Wes McCauley, the best official in the National Hockey League. You're going to see in the neutral zone a little collision. He goes down awkwardly, and you can tell right away he was in a lot of distress in the boards and told somebody from the National Hockey League, get Gord Dwyer ready. Unfortunate situation service, number 19 in the stripes, he's ready to go. In baseball, the standby officials are technically your left and right field umpire, so if someone gets hurt, they come into the infield and you fill it in. Baseball standby officials are always on the field. In other sports, not so much, but everyone does have standby in the postseason.